Now we've had quite a bit of experience with the Armalite tunable muzzle brake and it has really proven to be exceptional. But that was even before we started working on what makes this so advantageous with the pucks in the 12, 9, and 3 o'clock positions. Being able to really tune this muzzle brake to the shooter, to the load, and if you're right or left handed. And so what we're going to do is we're going to sh I'm going to show you how to tune this using the pucks, drilling the holes you need to, to make this even more exceptional. This is really designed for three gun shooters. And so there are some plugs here. In fact, there are three ports around the top, not on the bottom, where you place these plugs in. And then you drill holes according to uh, how it recoils. So if it goes up and right, if you're a right hand shooter, which is typical, or if you're a left hand shooter, it recoils differently. Okay, you want to go ahead and put your crush washer in, get the brake started. Bringing your armor's wrench around and they have flats on four sides. So then you just start tightening this down. Now we have it, we want this port to be up uh, at the 12 o'clock and then 3 and 9. But we're going to go ahead and go one more time around to make sure this thing is attached correctly. Okay, I feel the resistance, now we're going to level it out. Now we're going to install the plugs and we can do that with a flathead screwdriver. And it's going to have to be done anyway when you go to the range to tune this. Now we have the muzzle brake installed. Now each side has a puck at the 9, the 12, and the 3 o'clock position. And these are made actually to drill out to help with the compensation for the individual load and the individual rifle. Uh, this was made for the AR-15, and um, they, but they do make one for the 308 or the AR-10. Uh, one of the great things about this is these are removable, so if you over, uh, if you hope open up that hole too large, you can replace these pucks. And I believe they come six, and they're about 12 bucks on the Armalite website. So it's a really easy fix. Uh, or if you have a different load you want to use, or or whatever you want to, however you want to tailor your shooting skill. Now, one of the things about these, these are definitely made for three gun originally, but they really make a huge difference out at the range. Uh, so what we did, we took the, the brake out uh, the originally without doing any modifications, and it just shot so well. I mean, it was so easy to get second, third follow-up shots. So we wanted to take it out to the range, and we're going to take it out, we're going to shoot it, and I'm going to show you uh, how to actually tune this to the way your rifle's shooting. The top puck actually helps with the rise of your muzzle. And then if you're a right-handed shooter, typically the AR will shoot to the right. And you can drill out a hole here. Or if you're shooting to the left, you can drill out here. Or you can just leave them in as is. So it's a very versatile system that you can tune to you as the shooter. And I want to thank HPR for supplying the 5.56 or 2.23. Uh, really hyper clean, very accurate and uh, been using this stuff for years. Fantastic ammunition. Coming up are some segments of just the initial shooting before we did any modifications to the brake. And you can kind of get a feel for what it's doing. It was still shooting flat. Now to get things started, you, you're to put the rifle on your shoulder, um, you know, just in a natural position. Let the recoil happen with the rifle. And not too tight of a grip, and just watch what the recoil is doing. Watch the reaction of the muzzle when the round is fired. And then fire another round, fire two or three rounds, just get a feel for where your recoil is going. And then you can start to drill out your pucks.
We have a little bit of muzzle rise, so we're going to drill a hole about 1 16th. It's staying right on, so I don't really feel like I need to drill a hole on the right or the left, so we're going to go straight through. Try it out. Alright, we drilled a 1 16th hole and it was just shooting flat. I mean, I, I'm not going to drill it anymore. It was already shooting really well before, but I was getting just a little bit of muzzle rise. But with the 1 16th inch, zipping it in there, it made it perfect. Uh, one thing I would recommend is putting a wooden dowel in here. I, I forgot it. I actually had one to bring. Uh, so you don't cut through and hit. But these are definitely easily tunable. Uh, you know, if it's shooting to the right or the left, you know, you can just drill your holes where you need to. Uh, typically, if you're a right-handed shooter, it'll kind of move to the right a little bit. If you're left, a little bit to the left. Uh, but no muzzle rise whatsoever. It was staying right on target. I was shooting this at 1x at 100 yards, hitting a man-sized target every time I pulled the trigger. So obviously, we drilled the hole out in the top, and it really made it for flat shooting. Uh, you know, really looking side to side, I didn't feel like it was going in either direction until I got back to the shop and started doing my video editing, and I noticed that it was doing a little bit of shift to the right. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and drill out a hole here to tune this up. But to be honest with you, uh, I'm not going to continue that in this video because you know the, the drill as far as what you need to do, no pun intended. Uh, just taking a cordless drill, drilling out your hole, going for, for a small hole first, and then just enlarging the size as you go up uh, to fit your rifle. And uh, one thing I definitely would recommend, which I mentioned in the video, but I meant to bring a wooden dowel rod to slip down in here when I was drilling out. Uh, but I, I left it at home, and it worked fine. Uh, so what we're going to do is we'll drill this out a little bit just to test it. But guys, this muzzle brake is just exceptional as is. I mean, it shoots so well. And uh, so I think you're going to find that this is going to be an exceptional addition to your AR. Uh, it's great for three gun, but it's also great just to get it out to the range. Uh, you know, the silver color is a little different. Hopefully, you know, you could have the Cerakoted or hopefully they'll come out with some more colors. Guys, if you're going to go with different bullet weights or if you're using different rifles even, it could affect the rise and the movement of the muzzle uh, differently. Uh, so you just want to keep that in mind. Now on the Armalite website, these run $139 and that includes three of your pucks. Uh, for additional pucks, again, for six, they're 12 bucks. Uh, if you want to go with the 308 muzzle brake, it runs $149. And guys, don't forget that the AR in AR-15 is Armalite rifle. So the Armalite tunable compensator, <laughs> thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Today we're going to look at the, okay, the Armamite, 
we didn't really though take full advantage of the uh, it, Now the tunable muzzle, now the Armalite tune, okay. And so what we're gonna do today is, is we're gonna look at going ahead and, okay. So what we're gonna do today is to go ahead and, okay. Um, you know, whatever you want to, your desire is to get this tunable muzzle brake, you know, in, in our face. Okay. Oh yeah, baby. 